Oh, that one hadn't made it very far. When I got back from Balin, I had to come down and speed it up a little. Now it ain't moving. Gearbox is not wanting to turn. So, shut it off for the night. The other one is on track for being in 9 or 10 in the morning, I guess. About right. There you go. There's our sunset. It's like 95% humidity out here, and it's still 95 degrees at 8.30 at night. But they're outside. There's one cow in the feed barn. That'd be many. Both her calves are out somewhere. There's one of them with his girlfriend following. They were over by the cedar tree when I came down. Oh, I can't see them. Sorry about the bouncing around. You can see a couple. See a white face. The rest of them are over there. Actually, that's Wally, I think, coming out of this. And all the cows are on the hillside behind that tree. I'm surprised they're out here. But they did almost empty one feeder today. And so far, the water level's holding. I got a stick stuck in the edge. And it's still right where it was, so. So tomorrow brings us. I don't know what's with these clouds. And I guess you really can't see it on the camera. It's hazy right at those trees from the smoke. They even said on the news that, oh my gosh, we have smoke, smoke from the fires in the rest of the state. Imagine that. What it looks like this morning. And I am late. Didn't sleep really good last Well, did but didn't. Did not hear her come in at all this morning. Blakely, say good morning. Becky and I slept in the basement last night. She's on a mission to see the moon, Papa. Okay, well, she goes on with this way then. Anyway, I think Mom forgot to turn the AC down a little because it was plenty warm. I ended up turning a fan on downstairs to get to sleep. That didn't work out so well because the noise of the fan. But anyway, I have no idea when I finally got to sleep. But I know that she showed up earlier than normal. Next thing I know is I'm half coherent. And somebody comes in the door and a little kid comes running up to me. Red and blue said, screw it. It wasn't even worth barking at Ty this morning. And Ty confirmed what I thought yesterday. Those cows went out and went down there yesterday afternoon when I let them out of the barn. And by the time I was out the driveway to go bail, <laughs> they were back up here in the feed barn. Good morning, ladies. No, beforehand, because you stopped and talked to me beforehand. So okay, I wasn't whatever done it was. Yet. I was almost I'm, done feeding the yearlings. I'm lucky this morning if I can remember where I'm at. Does and anybody know where I am? Well, if wind, you do, put in the comments. The wind was blowing just enough where I got a face full along with the oats. Well, they came running back up. Nice. Oh, 62 oh, degrees. The was full. 93% humidity. Oh, she just realized the feeder was full. Was. Yeah, yeah cause that one over there was empty last night. And the only cow that was in the barn last night when I went down and shut the little traveler off was Minnie in this feeder. Yeah. That one's shit. still for sure. Yeah, but. I think it ain't going to be enough to get it through tomorrow. No. Without... That's why I left the grapple fucking on the goddamn skis. Yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> that's enough now. gabbling, but while, while, we're, while we're gabbling. There we go. Best we're going to get, I think. Just a moment of checking it out and listening. Yeah. 
traveler over there is just nailing the trees a second ago if you heard that or not. I finally made it up to get my paper. It's actually here. So here's your headline. Hikers ignore trail closures amid fires, officials say. Well, guess what? If the dumbasses get in there, don't expect to come out alive because there's no reason for anyone to risk themselves to go in and save them. Not with all the fires that are going and uh, the fact that the resources are already stretched so thin. And here's one. Heard this one on the radio a few times yesterday. Intel is going to cut 15,000 jobs as sales disappoint. This just a few months after the state of Oregon gave them like $8 billion to build new facilities and do more research. Why are we funding a private corporation to build their buildings and research stuff while they're cutting 15,000 jobs. Oh yeah, ambulance staffing deal. I just heard this one on the radio this morning while I was feeding the heifers, and sorry I didn't get you in on that. They were kind of locked lolly coming in. AMR, ambulance service. They got their deal with Multnomah County in the city of Portland. Well, if, they, if they'll take their new deal they have going that the county wants to do or the city wants to do, whichever, well, they'll be forgiven their $7 million in fines. These fines are because since the COVID bullshit, they can't get enough ambulance jockeys. Nobody can. I mean, the ambulance service we had in Washington County, they lost their contract because why? Well, when nobody wants to be an ambulance jockey, it's kind of hard to have any. And AMR ended up doing a deal a few months ago with Metro West Ambulance because Metro West was still alive simply because they have another ambulance service at the coast that nobody else wants to go do. And so they're working under AMR's contract. Yeah. Politics. Stupid bullshit. If there ain't the people to do it, there ain't the people to do it. And God knows current generation coming into the workforce, they, they aren't even qualified to pick their nose. At least most of them. There he is chilling while she is filling. Brent, there's Ruby. I thought she was the only one out here until I realized they were all hiding underneath the tree by the pump. And where? Oh, there she is. Middle of the pack. I see Sapphire. Well, here's one for Matt Scrap Whisperer. There's my traffic report. Frickin' traffic jam. I starting to feed them and they were out of my way down here until I came through the gate trying to let him go so I think the oil level was okay in that little traveler in the gearbox I took a took a chunk of dry grass and I dipped it but I'm not real sure that it didn't just wipe off somewhere else I had a quart oil jug with some gear oil in it and I literally only took eh, about that much out of the jug. It was clear full and it's down about that far, not counting the neck. And it's over full now, so I gotta go suck a little oil out. But working it back and forth three or four times and it spins free as can be. So it'll be running here in a few minutes. 
when they get out of my way so I can get down on the road. And that one, I'm not sure if it's all the way in yet, but it's close enough. As soon as I'm done here, it will be moved. I'll turn the water on this one, just make sure everything's working, and then shut it off, and then shut the pump off, and go move that one. That looks much better. A little noisy at this end, though. And yeah, I know, there's a little crack in the line right there. Not much you can do about that without pulling the line clear off, cutting it, and trying to get in there to reset it. Once the next drop gets on there, it don't leak. We do have another leak, too. There's a short hose off the end of that line that runs through here to go in here. And it, once in a while it weeps, once in a while it don't. <coughs> so anyway, now I can put it back in gear. Let's just kicked in. Should start turning. There we go. It's going plenty fast. I gotta slow it down some, but the little turbine should have enough power now. Once again, it'd be nice to have things hooked up. This is actually supposed to have like a little O-ring, and I've put O-rings on there before. O-rings don't hold up, so I'm not sure what they use, but that tells you your speed, how many feet an hour, you know. <clears throat> and that's interesting. It's wet here, but I think it's coming from there. <coughs> that's because it's sprayed on it. Got to be from where it's from. Because it can't be coming out right here. It'd have to come out inside and run down and it'd never get to there. One o'clock, 95 degrees, and I just checked that down there. It's finally dry enough to bail. So, hopefully this goes smoothly. It's been a morning. Last night, Becky and I slept in the basement because it was too damn hot to sleep in the trailer. And we were thinking mom must have been cold and, you know, turn the AC so it wasn't quite as cool. No. Furnace filter should have been changed a couple days ago. Becky changed it on 28th of June. And I just changed it today. About an eighth inch of dirt on the whole thing. So not getting any air throws up the condenser. And... Every bath towel from downstairs is around the furnace and in the furnace, soaking up water. Gave it a couple hours and then uh, I don't need to be in here. Then uh, finally turned the fan back on for a while. And I literally just turned the AC back on because it's finally, I think it's finally all done. I hope so anyway. I always look for oil pressure. I know it's not a great place, but easy place to get to it. I don't like the idiot gauges on these things. So anyway. Ty just left with Blakely. She didn't go that way because why? Well, currently they're building yet another roundabout at uh, Farmington Road and River Road, if you look on a map. So they have traffic detour, which makes it nearly impossible to get onto the highway down here. And if anything happens, like the other day, they had three freaking wrecks. So all of it was coming past that farm clear over there. Well, that's our alternate route to get around everything. And you couldn't even get there. Becky tried to go to town to get groceries the other morning, and she had to abort the mission because she couldn't get to town. So Ty went the other way. She's going 
up over the hill to Newburgh and around and up through Gaston to get home. Probably quicker than trying to get through all the idiots. And mom was supposed to have a CAT scan, I think, today. She opted not to. She's not feeling really good today. She still has an MRI coming up in a few days. Well, I don't know, next week or something. I, I honestly don't know. So, uh, I'm not going to want that gear. Heavy windrows. I know I don't want a higher gear. Anyway, that's what I know. And my plan is to get this bailed get this thing home. I really should drag the compressor down here and clean it up here, but yeah, then I gotta, oh, I still got a chunk out there in this. Now I don't see it though. If I remember, I'll get it before I leave. So anyway, see what happens here. Hopefully it all goes good. Oh, this is the second time I've stopped, but I'm almost half done with this. Other than I gotta go do corners over there. Cut it to half throttle, wait a minute, and go for broke again. Get her old throttle blow it out again. My objective is to get the chunk broke up enough that it will get into the bowl and get into the filter, the screen rather, in the bowl. Because that's easy to clean. Boom, boom, you're done. And then hopefully we won't have any more issues with fuel. But hey, we're going. Says 15% moisture at the moment. That's the highest I've seen it. Is that on? No, I think it's off a little, but I don't think we're over 18 or 20 at the wettest. And the driest stuff out here, I'm sure, is 8 or 9. That's what the stock was and the bales that I drove around and checked were earlier. Like there's two in that stock that hit 18, one's 18.8. The rest of them are 8 or 9, except for a couple that are 12. Couple letter 10. Stopped again, let her catch up. All I got is that one goes clear through to the corner, the short one there, that corner, there's a little bit in that corner, and there's a little bit coming around the corner of the fence right there. We're at 40 bales. I think we're going to hit 41, but I'm not sure. Going to be close. And then I can let it sit and idle before I go on the road because I'm moving more than far enough to get home. I got to go out on the other side of the pond, right up. The corner of the road is right there at the tall fir trees. The road used to go straight and it comes out right at the corner of our driveway just above the house. But in 1918, they abandoned, they went down and made a hairpin and back out our driveway. They abandon it and put the corner in. So I gotta get just around the corner and then I'm pretty much home free. And then decide what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna call it a day actually, because I don't know that I feel up to coming down with the tractor and getting all these moved. Actually, we may stack some of them on this side of the ditch because we can go down there and get around the pond to get to the road. This is what my day consists of. Yay! <laughs>